dating in Colombia. So if you're like me, you come from a Western country and you've grown up with the feminist madness of those countries, you will see that dating is much more fun in Colombia. The reason being is that they don't see masculinity totally as toxic. They have some other issues with it, but you won't see social justice warrior asking things like, is he bothering you? Is this making you uncomfortable? That's just not gonna happen here, okay? So that's the good news. The second thing is that we want to look in this video at the two biggest issues that you can face in Colombia when dating here that you need to be aware of because they can quickly turn to life endangering situations. So you really want to avoid them. And I'm going to show you how I've lived in Medellin, in Bogota, in Santa Marta, and I have dated around in all those cities and I've seen the whole issues over and over again. Okay, so the, the two big things here are basically firstly the criminality. In Colombia, you will see that everybody's saying Colombia has a high crime rate. It doesn't mean only that there's men with guns, that it also means there's women who are gonna rob you or try to scam you, okay? They don't use guns, they use manipulation. And the, two, the, the other big thing is that some women see men as walking wallets and they will try to get money out of you. And how to avoid those women, how to get the quality women that definitely uh, exist in Colombia and that they are so worth meeting, we will look at that in this video. So let's talk about the criminality. The biggest issue that you probably already heard of is the drug scopolamine. It's a conscious altering drug, it's a psychoactive drug that will just make you basically follow everything somebody tells you to do. And things got so extreme that some people even went to ATMs, um, people told them to withdraw their cash and they did it. Uh, it's not always this extreme scenario. Some people say they blow it in your face. Uh, I don't think that's true because I've heard from doctors that you really need to drink the drug, okay? So like the blowing in your face or like skin contact will not be sufficient for the effects to kick in. So don't get wasted along. I did it, I was fine, but like I don't recommend you do it. Um, secondly, don't use Tinder, okay? So I only, only, only had women trying to rob me, trying to manipulate me into getting money, into getting money out of me on Tinder. It's really not worth uh, pursuing those kind of platforms. This is a good time to face your social anxiety and meet the women in real life. I've hooked up with Colombian women and I've always hooked up from, with women that I met in real life never from online dating. And real life will m be much more safe too. So I seriously recommend stay away from Tinder, go real life. So the second big issue is, as I mentioned in the beginning, is some Colombian women tend to see men as walking wallets. How do you avoid getting sucked into by those women? So those kind of women will, will have little requests early on. Pay the metro for me to get to the date. Uh, pay the, the babysitter for my child. This is another thing. You'll see that most women have childs in Colombia. Like even if they're 22, they're going to have a kid. And then they will see like, oh, somebody has to take care of the kid when I'm going out with you. Can't you pay the babysitter? No, you don't pay the babysitter if that's not your goddamn child, okay? So those requests will go much, much higher with time. Just don't. Just don't follow them, okay? So it's that easy. Don't give them money if you don't know them. If you know them for six months and they ask you for money because they're in a bad situation, that's something totally different, but not like on first date, okay? So if she's asking you for small favors early on, it's probably a red, 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 big red flag. The second thing is that she's trying to go to like high level place, like expensive restaurant, except expensive bars. Look, they have conservative roles here when it comes to gender but it also means that you take the lead of the date you pay you lead if she takes the lead to go to some expensive restaurant that probably means that she's trying to benefit from you and that's not a very good sign so you will definitely want to avoid those kind of women um so again if she tries to take the lead just say no you determine if you pay if she wants to take the lead ask her if she wants to pay if she says yes okay you can go but probably she's gonna expect it because it's just a part of the culture and therefore usually they will expect you to pay. So those are the big things that you can avoid. Those are basically the things that you, tr you wanna avoid. If you avoid those, you will see that there's also humble women. They don't try to ask you for money. They will be fine after uh, uh, going out for ice cream and uh, they want, don't want any money from you, okay? So if she's asking or expecting anything in return for her services to go out with you, she's more or less a prostitute. That's not really a girl that's there for you. That's a girl that's there for the money. If she doesn't do that, green flag, 
have fun with them. They are amazingly confident in their sexuality. They love to have sex. Um, and yeah, if you're decently attractive, you will have fun with those women. If you're not attractive, I encourage you to follow my channel because I teach men how to become more attractive and become more successful women. Now go out and have fun dating in Colombia.